New Tech Network has a ready-to-run workshop around ECHO's peer assessment tool. In this video, we will cover everything you need in order to prepare for and successfully deliver this workshop. Within this workshop, you will be creating a peer assessment for your teachers to complete so they can get a feel for what it would be like for their students if they were to use this tool in their classrooms. This PD also comes with a slide deck that will guide you through facilitating this workshop. Today, we will cover what the peer assessment tool is and how it functions. We'll go through the steps of creating a course and enrolling your staff. We will be creating the peer assessment your staff will complete. We will explore how a student completes a peer assessment so you can support your staff if needed, and how a teacher reviews and grades a peer assessment. Let's get started by learning more about the peer assessment tool. The peer assessment tool in ECHO allows peers to assess one another using either a preloaded NTN rubric or a teacher created rubric. Students can also self assess using this tool. Once a student has assessed another student, a group of students, and or themselves, the score given will be what appears in the gradebook. Now that we know what a peer assessment is, let's do some preparation for our workshop. For this workshop, you will need a course. If you already have a professional development course you use with your staff, you can use that. If you do not have a course, you will need to create one and enroll your staff. Let's get started with creating a course. Make sure you are logged into ECHO as a teacher. From your home page, click the Manage Courses button in the top toolbar and select Create a Course. Start by giving your course a name. In the supporting slide deck for this workshop, we call it your Test Course, but you can name your course whatever you like. Be sure to make yourself a teacher owner. This will allow you to either create an enrollment code or enroll your staff manually. Once you have all the desired settings, click Create. Now your course will appear on your home page. Before enrolling your staff, we need to double check that the multi-outcome scoring is turned on. Click the editor tool on your course card. Click the tool icon in the top toolbar and select course settings. Scroll down until you find the MOS panel. If it is not enabled, go ahead and do that now. Import all of the NTN learning outcomes or choose the set your school uses and weight them according to your school's agreed upon percentages. When you are finished, click Save. Now that you have your course created and ready to go, it's time to enroll your staff. Remember, we want them in this course as students because we are going to first have them experience the peer assessment tool from the student's perspective. From the main menu, select the People tool. Click the tool icon in the top toolbar. There are two ways you can enroll your staff. You can do it manually or by generating an enrollment code. Click Invite Students to generate an enrollment code. Give this code to your staff and they can click their profile and select Enroll in a Course and enter this code. Or you can click Manage Enrollments to enroll them manually. Click the plus sign in the top toolbar. Within the pop-up window, select the Student Role. In each blank, search for a teacher using their name. Once you have everyone listed, click Enroll. Now your teachers are successfully enrolled in this course. When they log in as a student, they will see this course on their homepage. Now that you have your course created and your teachers enrolled, it's time to create a peer assessment for your teachers to experience as students. To begin creating a peer assessment, click the main menu in the upper left-hand corner and select the course editor. Click the Add To link and select Peer Assessment. Give this activity a title. In the content box, give the activity some instructions. For this activity, your staff will assess one another on hypothetical collaboration. In an actual classroom setting, students could assess one another and or themselves on any of the NTN learning outcomes or on any other topic that has a rubric related to it. Now click the Settings tab. Under the Peer Assessment Settings, select Allow Self-Assessment, Require Student Comments, and let students self-group. Next, click Add Rubric. In the dropdown are preloaded NTN rubrics. If in the future you would like to make your own peer assessment rubric, you would select Empty and click Add. 
Here you can add as many columns, rows, and as much text as you like to build your own custom rubric. For this workshop, we are going to use an existing NTN collaboration rubric. From the drop-down, select the high school, middle school, or elementary school collaboration rubric depending on what type of school you are. Once selected, click Add. Within this window, you have the ability to adjust the NTN rubric. Let's say we don't want our students to assess their peers on all parts of this rubric. We have the ability to delete rows we'd like to omit. We can also adjust the points. Once your rubric is adjusted to meet your needs, click Save. Our next step is to assign points for the gradebook submission. Because my rubric had four rows and four points each, I'm going to make this assignment worth 16 collaboration points. Once your MOS points are assigned, click Save. Now that your peer assessment is created, it's time to see what this looks like from the student perspective. You do not need to do anything at this point. I am just going to show you what your teachers will see so you can be prepared to support them if needed. First, your teachers will need to log into ECHO as a student. Next, they'll click on their course and navigate to the peer assessment activity. They can open the peer assessment by selecting it. Within the slide deck given to support this workshop, it advises the facilitator to group teachers into small groups of four or five. Once teachers know who their group members are, they'll be able to self-group. Teachers will select their group members by clicking Add Group Member. From the list, they will select each member of their group, and they are also going to self-assess, so they'll need to select themselves. Once they have everyone selected, they'll be ready to begin their peer assessments. To start assessing, they will click on any group member. They can choose a category on the rubrics by simply clicking it. We selected to have our students add comments, so they'll need to add text in the comment box below each strand. They also have the option to leave a private note to the teacher. When they are finished with their peer assessment, they will click Save. ECHO will not allow students to submit the peer assessment as a whole until all members of the group, including themselves, have been assessed. Now that we know what it looks like for a student to complete and submit a peer assessment, let's take a look at how the teacher reviews and grades one. Again, there is nothing for you to do at this point, but you will need to know how to do this so you can model it for your teachers after they have completed their peer assessment. Now that the peer assessment has been completed by all group members, it's time for the teacher to review them and submit grades. It is important to note that grades are not automatically returned to students upon their peers' submission. This gives the teacher time to review the grades given by peers as well as feedback to be sure they are fair. To review a peer assessment, be sure you are logged into ECHO as a teacher. Enter the course through the gradebook. Click on the Activities tab and select the Peer Assessment Activity. Click on a student. On this screen, you can see the average score this student received for each rubric thread and the average overall score. If you scroll down, you can see comments received by their peers in relation to each rubric thread. If you scroll down even further, you can see all scores and comments specific to each peer that scored this student. This is where you can decide to exclude a score from the student's grade. If you see a score that does not seem fair, select Exclude. Scroll down even further and you can see the feedback given to other students by this student. Once everything looks good and you believe the feedback and scores this student received seem fair, you can click Apply Average and Submit Score. You will then be redirected to the next student to review and approve their grade. Explain to your staff that this is the process for grading that they would have to use when using the peer assessment tool in their courses. And there you have it, everything you need to know and do to successfully implement a workshop on using the peer assessment tool.